What up, in this John Shabo IBS Kelso coming back for another MX Bikes banging up. Before you guys adjust your phone, brightness just change your minor settings. Yes, I am black from playing a dirt bike game. Now, today I thought I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a nice happy Thanksgiving, uh, if whoever who celebrates, but a happy Thanksgiving, uh, kind of video. I'm gonna be giving you guys my Cowie Supercross setup. Um, yeah, I think honestly I got this thing dialed down, other than you know, obviously me still having to work on my own craft, but anybody that has two brains or some really good brain cells that can get around a track will honestly say that this this bike is phenomenal so with that being said um it'll just keep coming up on the screen i'll go ahead and talk about it a little bit um i think gearing literally for this bike fluctuates a lot i use 1250 then i go to 1351 1352 i go to 1353 sometime and this just all depends on the track um other than that i don't really change much uh the rod length is always up um and hopefully you guys enjoy the huge suspension now the biggest thing here is the 100 medium tire on the back 14 one and then the 90 in the front i have tried the mid soft you guys can go back to the mid soft if you guys want to um we all me murph everybody has tried the mid soft it is too tucky dude i'm not gonna cap i i think the 90 uh medium in the front and the 100 in the back is just where it's at the reason why i do the 100 in the back is because it's a 250 you want more speed i mean obviously you want traction and that that 100 still going to give you the traction in the back of the bike so now all you need to do is be able to get the speed so yeah if you go with the 120 or 120 110 your low your low key just kind of missing out i should say so yeah with that being said this uh thing eats up whoops and i think another thing is that 90 medium in the front kind of eats the whoop the front tire without honestly slowing your bike too much so yeah like i said fluctuate through the whoops as well um third gear sometimes for shorter third gear for shorter whoops fourth gear usually for longer whoops um you guys will see that and play with it um that's usually how i end up getting through so right now going through these whoops i can easily go through third gear if i wanted to go pressuring and go get a little bit more speed i possibly could go fourth gear yeah fourth gear would probably just you know be overkill and that's like kind of what you want anyway you want to go as fast as possible but for me practicing i just like to go third gear um as you can see that's just what i want to do but i won't talk you guys ears off too much i just want to be able to give you the setup show you that it actually works i still need to work on when to sit when not to sit on this bike um and then yeah with that being said we do have a race coming up here too inside this video so hope you guys enjoy there we go there we go i just need to know when when to sit when not to sit type john easy peasy but yeah i've been i've been cooking with this setup this whole time for the past week or two and or past week or so and i think it's just been fully dialed in so hopefully you guys give this kawasaki a go <laughs> give the kawasaki a true go in supercross um before you guys just want to divert to the ktm and or husqvarna i know those things are killing it right now but i i will not give up on this bike at all for you guys i i, I said it on outdoors when everybody was like, oh, no, Husky this, KTM this, you know, Honda this. And then I was like, nah, it's going to be the Kawasaki. And I got to say, man, I've been just reviving this bike the whole time. Now, there's probably other people out here that's been riding this bike a lot. Shout out to you guys if I haven't seen your guys' content. But, man, I got almost my whole friend group and, like, a community behind me saying this this bike rips. So it's just about being able to put the laps in. May, will it be, is it the most fast, the fastest bike out there? Is it the most consistent? Is it the most everything? No. But if you want to feel comfortable, I feel like I have this thing dialed, man. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the race. Oh, fuck. It's okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Whole shot. Go, go, Whole go. Shot. Whole shot. Look at this banana. Whole banana ram. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Exactly what I said. He did it. Dookie, exactly what I said. You did it. I said you're going to skirt across the floor. <laughs> what? Well, I, was, I, was, I was way in last. Aren't you on the banana? No. No, that's, that's uh, I think that's the twisted development guy. Oh, dude, I thought that was, I thought that was Dookie because like his name was right there. All right, uh, my I'm guy's name is Pasta. That dead on last me. right now. That one's I on me, Chief. Taken out by some Honda and then the Suzuki guy ran into me. Gold Crusher cleaned you, bud. Just like Supercross days. Yo, Pierre, is the same trailer. guy? Yeah. Oh, well, you got it, Kerp. You got it. Go third. Go third. Go third. Uh, I'm in there. there. I just got a bad run off of that. Oh, the okay. setup for the whoops is so good for someone that's terrible at Supercross like me. Yeah, it definitely rocks. Dude. That at least whoops. gives me a chance to go through the whoops. <laughs> I think it's just overall good everywhere. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. Is like, I feel like this this uh, this this setup caters more towards 
giving people like I guess myself and others that are not good at Supercross the fighting chance of at least going through the whoops, you know? Oh. Cause I think that, I think that's the biggest thing for yourself. At least you can figure it out whether what gear you need to be in and then hope for the best. I think that was I think that was the biggest thing with the Kawasaki. We just couldn't find out how to get through the whoops and then boom. We did that Johnson. Easy peasy. Stand up, stand up. Yes, yes, sir. I'll take that little case Rooney. Blake, don't do me, please. Yes. Thank you, Blake or Rooney. DC out there going crazy. I have to come back for I'm your trying. toesies. I hope you do. Yeah. Have a little battle. Kerb, dang it. Lean forward and then yeah. back. Or kind of stay on the on the more front end side. I tried and I just absolutely looped it, but now let me ask you something. Are you hitting are you going over the bump or are you hitting the bump? What bump? Oh gosh. Like right after you make the left that you're about to be coming up to. Oh, uh, I I go like far inside and I hit the bump. Oh below so. Blake. Blake! Blake! Dude, I don't know if that was me or him, but he was about to land on me, man. Uh oh, that trouble. was all him right there. Gosh darn it. I saw that. I OJ. Go, Kerb, go. Go, Kerb, go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Okay. Who's that, Blake? Yeah. That's darn it, Blake. Are you the hazard of the video? You can be honest. Last last video it was Siri. Now it's Blake or Rooney. Siri, I forgot about <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Shout out to Siri, man. <laughs> Shout out to oh boy. We're being consistent though. I mean, other than little little mistakes that we're doing, that ain't nothing. The progress is crazy, man. And this bike is just unbelievable, unbelievably good. Whoever, uh, when you guys do finally get to try this setup, you're gonna notice it's not specifically good in one area like a lot of other setups, but it's just good everywhere. Yeah, literally. I think the biggest thing we just focused to try to get through the whoops, and then as soon as that came, it kind of just everything else came into into effect the biggest thing is yeah. just like i don't know when to sit stand all that good stuff you know that's that's kind of just on my own that's a skill diff <laughs> that's just a skill diff but for the most part we're chilling oh tough luck oh my gosh yeah and i've also been told multiple times you need to stand more so that's just what i'm trying to focus on and then sometimes i just i feel like i just need to scrub harder because i'm now i'm ojing a little bit more and I just need to know when to scrub, when not to scrub, all that good stuff. But we're there. I hope to see a lot of people try to give this a go and let me know down in the comment section if you guys made it this far, just if you guys actually enjoy it. If this helped you out or you guys think this is hot buns and this is placebo effect, you can be honest too. You can tell me the truth. I won't be mad. Tell us how you really feel. Yeah. Hmm. Dang it. I just keep either OJing or underjing or whatever you want to call it. Now tough block just ends my freaking career. EC2Jing. Gosh darn it. Go, go, go. <laughs> what is so funny, bro? <laughs> Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this ice white though. W, W skin, bro. W skin. I think I it just takes that. away from the green. It takes away from the green tremendously, and it's huge. That's what I was telling DC earlier before I had to go to my Thanksgiving tangy. You know, so everybody's just, not a everybody's not a huge uh, green guy. You know, sometimes. No, I love the green. I just I thought white would be a little bit different than the average kit because a lot of people run the green. But yeah, trust, bro, we'll cook something up decent when the Supercross I, season comes around. Hundred percent. And I feel like the white is just universal to where like you can put this on any bike. That is true. And any, yeah, anything will look good. Either all white or all black. It looks, in my opinion, I'd rather go with all black. That's like the, my bike right now, it's all black. Yeah, black, black and white kind of just the most dominant, dominant kind of colors to the color wheel of it. For sure. I should say my IRL bike is all black. <laughs> not the, not the, not in game bike. 
Are you on the last slab, Jay? Uh, not yet. I think we still got a minute left. Oh, no, we don't. Also, I have seen that when I stop trying to go super fast for hot laps and just stay consistent, I'm actually pretty consistent. But like I'm hitting the actual markers. Like I hit the, throughout the whole triple like pretty nice. Oh no, little OJ, that's all right. I'll take that. A little quad to a triple or whatever you thought that was. And then third gear with a 1352 is actually pretty amazing. But shout out to you, Murph. I feel like everybody, I feel like everybody right now on this bike Everybody <laughs> messages with the Geary. <laughs> like everybody yeah, has their like own personal. Things. Yeah, everybody has like their own personal preference to it, which is dope. And it doesn't change how the bike works. It just changes like how your riding style is. Yeah, like my riding style personally, I go for more acceleration than than speed. Yeah, and that just all depends on like if you hit if you rail mark corners or just like literally how you attack the attack the track. So that's huge. That's what I do enjoy. And I just feel like I like more torque because I feel like at times that's just what I want. But I feel like I, 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 I personally, man, I feel like I'm stuttering too much. Holy cow. <laughs> I feel like um, that I try that I under jump a lot of stuff or over, over, over jump. So I always want to know I have more power and then work on being able to uh, kind of, how would you say like, like scrub, right? Yeah, right. That's the word for, I'm looking for. Just be able to scrub any your, of your over jumps, which I'm actually working on now. It's because I've been staying in third gear, Murph, and now mm -hmm. I'm able to. I'm able to actually. Oh, well, that time no, but I'm actually able to um, over jump, where I'm able to scrub now because I'm actually using a lot more power. And since I'm using a lot more power, I can use that uh, that scrub with the with third gear. So it's actually pretty sick. I feel like trying to get out words right now and concentrate is hitting me for a different, different bruise, bro. You're doing good, bud. You're doing yeah, we're good. We're trying. We're trying. It's a little sloppy, but we're there. I just can't ride. Fingers are cold. I'm cold. It hurts. Oh no. There we go. I mean, third. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Go 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 go. Third place, I'll take it. Third place, and we we stayed as consistent as I think I could get. So I'll take that. Top three, baby. Let's go. Blake was reeling me in. Six.